Hey, YouTube. What's going on? Morty's uh, Sports Cards. Here for a quick little video. Uh, I was not expecting to do this, but Starstock dropped some news today that really intrigued me. Um, YouTube nonsense down below. Like, comment, sub, market movers, all that stuff. Um, so for those, let me give you a little basis first, and then we'll talk about what, um, what happened here. So for those not familiar with Starstock, uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting concept. Uh, essentially what it is, uh, it's a buy, sell trade platform for raw and graded cards, rookies only, uh, no base card or no, um, vet cards, uh, no inserts, etc. Rookies only graded and ungraded. And you don't see what you're buying. If that sounds crazy. So essentially you send your cards into them. They review them quickly and give them grades. Star stock A, B, and C, I believe. Uh, and then load them on your account and then you can sell them. So kind of like if you're familiar with Com C, this is like a modern version of Com C. So say uh let's go into my collection and i don't have a ton on here uh but i have I, i've recently liquidated most of my uh stuff to free up some funds i don't really have a, a ton on here i have a whopping 36 dollars in my account uh, but i have five base darius carlin prisms and a tyler hero psa 9 prism so these are ones that i purchased um, so these are in my vault. So I own these. I don't exactly know what it looks like, but they're star stock A's. I've never actually seen the card. Uh, and then you could buy them and sell them on here in, in real time. It instantly transfers to somebody else. Uh, and then they then own the card and you can buy graded cards, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let me give you a real world version of why I jumped into star stock, uh, an example, if you will. So back when the NBA bubble, and this is the appeal to star stock. Uh, it's amazing because there's no returns to deal with. Um, and I've had fun playing around on here. I don't take it super seriously, but it is very fun to mess around on. So let's rewind back to the NBA scrimmage games when the bubble first started. Everybody remember the bull bull craze? When his card prices went absolutely ballistic in the matter of 50 minutes. So. That was in the early days of Starstock. They weren't super well known yet. And there's a lot of people that have discovered it. So he starts going nuts. He gets to start. And I throw $25 on my Starstock account. I had no cards in here. I've not sent them anything. I still haven't to this day. I put $25 into my Starstock account. I went and I bought every single Bull Bull card I could afford for $25. By half time i had marked them up for like five to six x what i purchased them for and already sold them so i had immediately turned 25 dollars into it was like 75 or 100 bucks i forget what like within the matter of an hour um and like i said you don't have to deal with the whole ebay returns all that jazz that's like the edge case or the perfect case use for star stock and I've done some other flips. I've taken some losses too. It's whatever. I don't like live on it or anything, uh, but it intrigues me. And I, I think I may try to get into it more with the NBA season. I've gotten burned on some stuff that I thought was going to go crazy. and didn't have to sell for a loss, whatever. But I've turned $25 uh, for my initial deposit back in the summer into, and it's nothing crazy, but like 35 bucks into my account, five star stock, a Darius Garland and a PSA nine uh, Tyler hero. Um, so I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, listing and all that stuff. This is not like a demo of star stock, but you need to have the gist of it to understand what they're doing next. So what they announced today was you can now grade through PSA through them. Uh, so this got announced on Twitter today. They're going to do their first PSA submission at $30 a card for a 20 day service level. Uh, and according to this, the cards will be back by the end of January, according to PSA. I mean, you know, we'll see what happens there. And then they get immediately loaded back in your account. So let's flip back over to my star stock. Uh, and I have these five Darius Garland base prisms, nothing crazy. 
let's say this was Zion or Jar or whatever. Let's say I wanted to grade these. I could fill out whatever their form is, pay the $30. I assume it just comes right out of your account. They get shipped, taken out of your account, shipped to PSA. And then when they come back, they get uploaded into your account with whatever they graded as. Now, this sounds wild. Don't get me wrong. So, like, you're telling me a card that I've never seen, which is kind of already a little bit of a leap of faith, but this is 2020. We're in the digital age. I am now going to send off to be graded that I've never had my hands on. I'm trusting that your A is basically a PSA 9 or 10. Um, and, and then I'm going to send it off and come back. The graded card will be added to my account. Just the thought process of grading a card that you've never seen is wild. I'm not saying that this isn't smart, and I'm not saying I won't do it, but it's not going to be for everybody, and you really got to wrap your head around it for a minute. Like I just had to sit there for like a minute and just think, like, huh, okay, okay. So I'm intrigued. You know, like all I have are these garland-based prisms. And these aren't necessarily things I want to grade at the moment. But if I had something decent in there, I would at least consider it for sure. For sure, I would just as an experiment. Like, why the hell not? Um, so I'll be curious to see people's results on this first batch that go off. And if PSA can hit the timeline. Like, I have a lot of questions. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and I'm not going to be diving into this head first. Um, but it's interesting. I'll give him that. It is definitely interesting. So I'd be curious your guys' thoughts on this if you're using Starstock or whatever. Um, if you are not using Starstock, uh, we'll, we'll self-plug here a little bit. They do have a promo going on right now that if you're a new user to Starstock uh, and you use a referral code, uh, each person gets 10 bucks. So for the referral code, and I'll put this in the description below, it's the person's username that referred you. So mine is NEO Sports Cards. Uh, you can see it right there, and I will put this in the description below. So if you are new to Starstock and you sign up and you deposit a minimum of $10 and enter my user ID for a promo code, we both get $10. You deposit 10, use the promo code, you get a bonus 10, and then I get 10. So uh, if you guys haven't used it yet, it is fun. Um, like I said, to be sitting there on a, you know, when you're watching a game on a Wednesday night and you see someone start to go crazy. And I did this in football too a little bit. You go search Starstock real quick to see if you can find some deals on stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a full tutorial on Starstock or anything. But this this video, the purpose of this is more how wild is this that you could submit cards that you've never seen to PSA through Starstock to be graded as an experiment? I am extremely curious to see how this works and works out for them. Like I said, I don't have anything in my account personally right now I would like to grade unless Darius Garland leads, leads my Cavs to early season glory. Then maybe I would send some of those in. Um but this is just something very interesting to keep an eye on. And, and once again, I do think star stocks worth playing around on. There is something so satisfying the first time you buy a card and flip it literally 20 minutes later for like triple what you just paid for it. It's a wild star stock is wild. Uh, they also started doing some of these market indexes, which uh, I think is kind of cool where they are tracking like who's up, who's down. And I will be clear. I'll be frank with you. Their pricing's a little different than like you're going to find on current eBay comps. Uh, it's not one for one. They're like their own little ecosystem because it's kind of a walled garden. Um, so don't be surprised if you see stuff on there and you're like, this is weird. This doesn't normally sell for this much or whatever. Um, but it, it's close. It's not like drastically different, but it could be anywhere from 10 to 20 percent different because there's weird inventory issues on there. You know, when new stuff comes out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the, just some interesting things just to kind of give you a loose idea of what the market is doing. 
So with the NBA season coming up, I would recommend checking out Star Stock. And then, like I said, I just thought this whole PSA 10 thing or PSA 10 thing, this whole PSA submission thing was kind of wild. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Just a quick little Star Stock update because I just saw this come across Twitter and I was just like, this is crazy. I got to talk about this. So let me know your thoughts down below. We will catch you guys on the next one. And peace.